Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. What do you think of that last vlog? Biting off more than I could chew. What did you think? Well, I know exactly what you thought because I've been reading your comments. Just a nice steady woodland walk today. Nothing too strenuous. So yeah, I thought I was gonna get pulled apart, ripped to bits in the comments section after my last vlog when I didn't quite achieve what I wanted to. But I thank you for your kind words. Even though I didn't complete my, uh, my challenge, um, I really enjoyed trying. It was great, great exercise and uh, a great uh, first time out this year wild camping. So yeah, um, I got caught out. The gear that I had was just, just good enough and I did have a couple of other layers. So I wasn't shivering, but uh, definitely felt the cold at night. And I've got to say that at one point of it, I really did think to myself, why, why do I do this? Am I really enjoying it? Now, let me just tell you about a, a YouTuber that I've been watching lately. Uh, new to me, just uh, discovered him. I've just discovered him and I hope you're gonna discover him as well. I'll leave a link in the description below of his channel, great channel. And on his channel, you will find him hiking and uh, wild camping and waffling on. Uh, yeah, don't know why I like him, but uh, I do like him. He's absolutely brilliant and I think he'll enjoy it. So definitely check him out. Now on one of his uh, more recent videos, he was saying that he got a comment from one of his viewers and he said, do you hike to wild camp or do you wild camp to hike? And I thought, I thought it was a really good question and uh, it, it did make me think. Uh, now, if you'd have asked me two years ago when I kind of started this out, I would have said that I, uh, I wild camp to hike because I basically wanted to get further deeper into the moors and things like that and, and discover more. And I always used to, used to sort of uh, annoy me that I had to go back to the car and I wanted to just stay there and then go on further the next day, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I would have said that, but now, they're both kind of leveling out because I've really sort of got the bug for this wild camping. I kind of want to master it. This is all still relatively new to me. I'm certainly not that experienced, but I'm really enjoying the journey. So that's where I am with it anyway, but it's a great question. So do check out Tony Higgins channel. I will, as I said before, I'll leave a link in the description below. He is a southerner, now you can't have everything. It's a great channel, great guy, great content, but he is a southerner and uh, make sure you let him know that Robert John Kerr sent you. So it's reached that point where I'm going to lose the jacket. It's getting lovely and warm and uh, it's lovely and quiet as well. Great day, great little uh, walk in the woods. I hope you're enjoying it. And um, when I've lost the jacket, I'm going to have a little think about that question. Why, why do I do this? Why? Why do we do it? Uh, put your comments in the comments section below. Why do you hike? Why do you wild camp? There's other hobbies. <laughs> Why do we do this? Yeah, because it did get me thinking when I was doing that last block. What the heck am I doing? It feels a lot better without the jacket. So why do I hike? Remember to let me know why you hike in the comments section below, but I'm sure we're all very similar, like-minded in that it's not just one particular thing. I think, uh, first of all, for me, it's the, uh, the randomness. Out today, just like any other time you're out, anything could happen. It's got random ingredients. Something just ran through the bushes there. <laughs> and uh, that was random <laughs> yeah you could see anything you could see anybody you could meet anybody and uh, the ever-changing environment every time you go out I've been on this walk before on this trail before but it's different every time 
the different skies, the different weather, the, uh, the sunsets and the sunrises, unique every time. And you've got to get out there to see them. There's nothing I like better than when you just spot a bit of wildlife, a fox or a deer. Birds, birds of prey love seeing them and do get some buzzards around here. I haven't seen any deer around here for a long time, but it's just a bit of a lottery. And it is that random, that random ingredient that as I walk down this path, it would have been brilliant if a deer would have run across then. Uh, as I walked down this path, um, I could see anything. So yeah, that is definitely something that attracts me to hiking. Now the wild camping, I really enjoy just having to get by on what you can carry. The, uh, the basics, the basic living of, uh, of wild camping. And I even enjoy the preparing of the routes and reading of the maps. Even though I do go wrong, yes, I do know I need to brush up on them skills. <laughs> There's definitely something good about not having the home comforts around you. And there's definitely something good about not having people around you. I mean, I just don't like people. <laughs> That's a joke, I think. Actually, uh, not having people around you for a while can be good for you socially, I think, because I think it can make you appreciate people, your family around you, and the home comforts. It, it does make you appreciate that a little bit more. Now there's someone down there digging a hole or burying something. I'm hiding behind a tree just watching him. I think, I think I'm gonna go down and have a word. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know what he's doing. You might be able to see. Right in the distance. GoPro lens won't get it. But I'm really intrigued as to what he's doing. This is the randomness that I was talking about. But this is a bit crazy random. I'm gonna have to go down and have a word. I owe it to you guys to go down and see what's going on. So I'm still at the same tree. And he's really going for it. He's putting a lot of effort into whatever he's doing. He's got a shovel and he's, like I say, really going for it. So it's interesting. Okay, he's leaving now. So I'm gonna go down to exactly where he was doing his digging and whatever. I don't know what he was doing. So that's what we're digging out. Is it a watering trough? Maybe, maybe he's spotting deer. Maybe deer will eventually come here and, uh, and drink out of that. But that's all the leaves that he was uh, clearing out. And I was, I was right over there, right through them trees. That's where we were. And uh, I couldn't see the trough. <laughs> it looked like he was just burying a body. My imagination. So where were we before we were disturbed by the guy burying the body? Well he wasn't burying the body was he? He was uh, just clearing out an old trough for wildlife and doing some good and I never doubted it. <laughs> so yeah hiking, wild camping, why do we do it? What, what's so good about it? Uh, well what I've realised is as I'm walking along now when I'm out and about on the trail and uh, camping out I am in the now, I'm living in the now, in the moment. Uh, nothing matters but what is around me and uh, what is happening right now. And it's a good place to be. And when I'm out on the trail, I also feel like I'm slowing down time. Time seems to move a little bit slower. The pace of life is a lot better. And it's a, a much simpler way of life, of course, when you're camping out, when you're wild camping. And I really like that. 
So I'm coming to the end of this vlog now. I hope you've really enjoyed it. I have enjoyed your company, or of course, I would have been all by myself. Another thing is that uh, it's absolutely free in this expensive, now very expensive world. Um, we need some free exercise. This costs you nothing. And you won't find a gym like this. So that's about it for this one. I don't know where I'll be next time, but I know I want you with me. I upload vlogs very regularly, at least once a month. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.